Today we're going to be having a look at the Redivis HA1 UV. We are going to be programming this guy manually and we're going to be using a Windows 11 PC with a programming cable. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Daryl, Victor Alpha 7, Delta Delta Uniform. Today we are looking at the Redivis HA1 UV, and we are going to be programming this guy. First, we're going to use the manual method using the keypad, and we're going to also use a Windows 11 PC and the programming cable, and we will program it with the CPS software from Redivis. Let's dive into the manual method first. All right, we are going to look at manually programming the ALUNS Redivis HA1UV. So this radio, I got to say, first and foremost, has been a fantastic little radio. Uh, as you guys know, I love USB-C. Uh, the fact that you can charge this with USB-C and the dock, you know, or and or the dock, and the dock is also USB-C, it's just fantastic. You can see I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't even been nice to this radio. It's it's been put through its paces. You can see that there's a, a little bit of wear there. Um, this, uh, oh, my sweaty fingers. Um, I still have the screen protector on there. So let's dive into getting this guy programmed. So this is a factory reset radio now. So this is how it should come out of the box uh, with this particular firmware version, I guess. Um, so it's actually super, super, super simple to program in anything into these uh, into these guys. So uh, we'll start off with just maybe a simplex, and then we'll go into uh, programming in a repeater. So let's go to the menu. We'll go down to channel. And hey, look, there is your entire channel bank. So uh, you got your VFO channels. You can set those if you would like so that you go to the VFO and you're on a preset frequency, or you can... Um, set your individual channel frequencies. So, uh, we'll. I always like to have the number one channel in my radio as one four six five two, the national calling frequency here in North America. So, interestingly enough, I'm not sure that you can type letters in for the naming of the channels. So can backspace by just hitting the exit button and we can I'm just gonna call it one four six uh, I'll just leave it at that for now so we'll click menu we'll save it so bandwidth we're just gonna leave that alone it's on wide Receive frequency. So we go one, four, six, five, two, zero. And then we're going to save it. And the transmit frequency is going to be the same. So this radio is kind of like some other Chinese radios that I've seen where it doesn't have the offset, but it actually requires you to put in the receive and transmit frequencies separately. Um, I mean, that's fine. It's a little bit trickier, you know, if you're used to, you know, some of the Yesus and things that have uh, that built in with the offset. Uh, so, and then if you were, if you were programming in a repeater uh, with different um, uh, receive and transmit frequencies, you can also do uh, your tone, your receive or transmit tone, uh, respectively to your repeater. And then uh, your squelch level, if that is required and your transmit power for that specific channel settings for this exact channel so your channel a so now that we're done there i'm going to go back and we got 146 so now if i exit we can go should be able to, yep there we go so we go uh channel one 14652 and the other ones here these are all things that are just I think there's four programmed in from the factory. So now let's see what it would look like to program in uh, with an offset. So same thing, menu, channel. We would, let's go down to the next one. We'll call it one, 
actually, no. I think if you're programming with the cable, it's much easier to change the names. We will get to that one momentarily. Let's call it 145. So confirm, save. We are going to go to the receive frequency. So this is the frequency that we're going to be listening to. That's incorrect. 145430. We're going to save that. And then the transmit frequency is 144830. So like I said, some radios have an offset that you can just select from a drop down menu some uh, you actually have to program in the transmit and the receive frequency manually so this particular repeater does have a, a transmit tone so we're going to go over here to the transmit side and i believe this up here we turn this guy this might be a little bit challenging to see on the screen just because of the color of that. 141 is what we're looking for. 141.3. So as uh, it is a little bit challenging to see that there. With it's 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 only on the the screen. It's or on the the video in in person. It's very clear. You can see the 141 on the blue there. All right. So we'll save that. Save. Now that's all I need on this particular one, and we should be able to key up that repeater. So let's see. This is Victor Alpha 7, Delta, Delta Uniform. So as you can see, the repeater did key up, and I got a response back from the repeater. Awesome. So that is how we program in a repeater into this radio. Like I said, it's super easy. It's very straightforward. There's no uh, secrets involved in the menu. You don't have to decipher any uh, uh, legends or keys or anything in order to know what uh, menu options are. Everything is very laid out in this radio, and I, and I really enjoy that. Uh, so let's have a look at... Uh, the programming this guy with the computer. Now that we've got the manual programming down pat, let's have a look at programming it with the computer. So we're gonna use the speaker mic port on the side here. Uh, I've just got this finger tight, pop the cover off, get our cable. It is keyed on one side with a small indentation. In it goes. This does not need to be super tight at all, just making contact, snug it up, and the other end into your PC. All right, so now that you've got the radio connected, we're starting with, again, a factory fresh radio. I've done a factory reset on it. Now we're going to go to the website where we can get the software. We go to support. The CPS software is what we need. We got the newest version of the software here. We just click on whether you need the 64-bit or the 86 version of the software. Uh, just go ahead and click on the one you need, and it will begin downloading. I'm going to skip ahead. Skip ahead. It's an easy file. You just download it, uh, open it up, and away you go. So let's skip ahead and uh, get that open. All right. Now that we've got the software opened up, we can go ahead and connect our device. So connect device and select whatever port you're on. I know that I'm on COM port five. I might take a couple tries to get it on the correct port. And obviously we're programming an HA1 UV. Okay, we should see a response from the radio. The light lights up, says that it's reading. Now, there we go. It's recognized that we have an HA1 UV. So uh, let's go to our channel list. It probably reflects quite similarly to what we see there, possibly, if not. All uh, right. So, yeah, there's nothing programmed in. We're, there's one channel down here for some strange reason. So let's go. Let's start. We got a status enable each one of them, I believe. We got to give it a name. So two meter call. 
And then we're going to go frequency 146.520 because that's the frequency we use here in North America. And squelch level, no tone, everything else there should be just fine. Auto scan. No, we're not adding any of that. So then the next one, I'm going to put in a repeater that I just know off the top of my head. EJA, this is a local one here in Nanaimo. One, four, one, four, five, four, three, zero. With a decimal place, of course. And the transmit frequency, 144.830. So now we don't have a receive tone, but we do have a transmit tone, and that is 141.3. There we go. I'm going to save this file as well so that uh, we have a save file and we can, you know, revert back to it if we need to. So let's go ahead and we're going to write this to the radio now. So let's click write. So as you can see, the radio is writing. This is in real time, doesn't take too long at all. And the break, probably get a restart. 146.520, and if we are correct, the next one, 145.43. So then we'll uh, do a test, make sure the tone and everything is set up correctly. This is Victor Alpha 7, Delta Delta Uniform testing. Yep, it is receiving. Turned it off. But anyways, it uh, it is absolutely working. Uh, as we can see, there we go. So that is how you program with the software uh, using the programming cable. It's very, very straightforward. Um, I haven't played around too much with trying to transfer stuff over from Chirp. I don't know if you can copy and paste or anything like that. If you've played around with that at all, give me a, a bit of info in the comments if you've got it. Um, otherwise, that is the very basics of how you would uh, program this Redivis Alunz HA1UV. Um, like I said, this thing has been an absolutely fantastic radio. Uh, the durability of it is is perfect. It is you know very robust, and the fact that it's actually waterproof, like you can fully submerge it in the water, is uh, uh, fantastic. There's lots of videos online already of people uh, playing around with that, but I'm not going to do that with this one. Um, but yeah, an absolutely fantastic radio. I hope you guys figured out how to program your radio. Uh, if you have any trouble, leave a comment. Maybe I can help. Uh, if not, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for liking the video and subscribing, and we'll uh, catch you later.